All right, week four video, what are we on video three here? I'm just gonna wrap this one up, add a few more things to it, and call it done. Um, and then we'll, um, we'll probably add a few more videos as, as the week goes on. Some not my videos, but some YouTube videos to supplement this, but this should get you going. All right, uh, we are, I just think that it needs some other solid color elements. And I think that can kind of make things look a little more interesting. I'm just gonna, and it's just really working with solid shapes. So if you put this new layer at the bottom, uh, you can use the shape tool to make geometric shapes. I think that could be one way of doing it. I'm going to fill that with this. Remember we have to rasterize this. And we're going to fill it with this blue. And I've got some other colors I've, I've sampled off of um, that Matisse painting. Now instead of using the shape tool, you can use the marquee tool and just make a selection this way. You can do it on a different layer. I think I'll do it on a different layer so I can play around with you know, layering and, and change the different levels it would be at. <clears throat> oh, I want to actually make this a different color. That's nice because it's like a complementary here. Uh, you can maybe do another layer. Maybe I'll just go into my color picker here and try to find a, a green. Pantone has a lot of good choices, I think, too. I wanted to make a selection there. Earlier. And the other, that's another thing I might, you might want to try is instead of just doing geometric shapes, you can do a curved path. So make a path, go back to paths, like name it, make a selection, add a new layer in there somewhere. Um, and you could do some, here's where you could start doing some, some transparencies too when you start layering all these in the back. Let's try a, an orange. So if you, if you did want to say, I'll put this on top and make a transparency of it. If you put a layer in the far back that's filled white, 
say back white background or something and then that gives it this sort of you know without that checkerboard that checkerboard thing can be a little distracting And then maybe you want to put a, you know, you can always put a textural element in on top of all of this. Alright, so it starts to come around. You, you get the idea. Just remember to have some fun and, and really start to break up your shape. And, you know, I, I, I could work on this for hours. I have a, it, it's, I think it's so much fun. Um, I'm going to just do one more thing because it's... So if I make, I'm going to make a selection because these are all angular 90 degree angles. Um... I'm going to make a selection that's got a curve to it. And then of course, we go to paths, make a selection, and I'm going to do this base image, the command J, <clears throat> and it's going to make this X, this different layer, um, copy of that, and then just push it up. And then the eye appears again, which is kind of and maybe this is a little sharp up here. All right, so <clears throat> how could I, and there's ways you can change that, and you can make a mask, new layer, put a mask there. And I could do a kind of a fade here. One thing I haven't shown you is how do you select, how do you change it? So I want to see this mask. So it's on a Mac, it's option click, and I think it's control click on, on the PC. If you click on the mask, it goes, you can toggle back and forth so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I want to alter this mask. I'm going to use you just a, a, a regular brush and I'm going to put very low opacity and I'm going to just kind of fade this. Okay, that's a hard brush. It doesn't have any. I want to feather it quite a bit there. Let's put a little bit more flow into that, a little more opacity. And try to get rid of these hard edges towards the top. And you can go back and you can toggle back and forth. So again, it's an option or control. All right, I have to, I made a mistake there. Let's get rid of that. And I didn't put the layer mask on that. So select, and I have to actually put a layer mask on this layer. Now, Let's try that again. Let's 
See where masks can be just so powerful. So I can get that thing to start to kind of disappear and fade away. Not saying that's terribly successful, but just to try to illustrate what this tool can do. And then you can go back and use the eraser tool and say, well, I want to take some of that out. You can do the exact opposite and you can erase some of this. Maybe take a, make this brush nice and big. I don't want to get, it doesn't really matter if I go out there. Um, actually, I could see what happens when I do that. So it kind of fades out of there and you don't. <clears throat> So you get the idea, right? So it can, it, it don't have this really hard edge, I just have this sort of nice feathered out area, but I kind of like this hard edge contrasting against that. All right. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done because again, I think I've shown you enough about masks and selections. And I think this is, there's enough for you to start. Um, all right, thanks a lot, and hope you have some fun with this.